Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, here with Mick the Beard from Metal Gods TV, and I'm with the legendary Law Moeder. How did you get the name? Mick the Beard? Yes. That's right. It's just, it does what he says on the tin. It's fantastic, mate. Hello. So you guys are sort of, oh, I don't know what I have to say, you're sort of enjoying a, a new resurgence in popularity, aren't you? Enjoying is probably the right word, yeah. isn't it? We're having a giggle. Yeah. It's, uh, it's an absolute hoot. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, people just keep offering gigs they probably shouldn't offer us. <laughs> and then we come along and we mess it up and everybody has a good time and then we all go home again. It's fantastic. We really are having a ball at the moment, to be honest. And you've got the really late slot tonight. I think it should be fun. So people keep telling me it's a late slot. I went to bed at half past ten last night in preparation. Yeah. I'm that good. And thought, fucking hell, I'll have three and a half hours <laughs> tomorrow then, you know, after this. But um, I don't know, everyone's saying it's yeah. the slot. It's when all going to happen tonight, apparently. When we first got it, I thought, oh my God, we're going to be playing to an empty room. But you think about it, it's the first festival of the year. People would actually <clears> put bloodstock or download or whatever in the tent. So and I the beer is flowing. It's the same here, yeah. so yeah. hopefully it'll be a rammed room. And no, somebody said Napalm had this slot. Yeah. And it was good for them, and the Wild Arts have had this slot, and it was good for them, so... It is usually a good slot, because it's... I think... They don't think there's much going on in the other stages or anything, it's just... No, so everybody... Does that's that's it, so you, everybody's... Yeah. Who's left is just going to be in there. Yeah. No, God help them. Okay. Well, <laughs> and us. They're going to be totally wasted, most of them, anyway, so you... They're not even going to know who we are, are they, really? Just be a big part. Yeah, absolutely right, so, and that's what it should be. And I think that's deliberately why Seven's given us the slot, really. I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So is the what you got in store for him tonight? Then? No idea. Yeah. People keep <laughs> asking me this. We, the, 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 I think people must think I think this through deeply. <laughs> and the truth is, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'll have. All I know is what's on the set list. And if you've seen us recently, you'll know I'm incapable of reading <laughs> set lists as well. Um, but what's on the set list is what we'll play in some kind of order. Uh, and the rest of it will be down to what happens in the crowd, really. I'll spot something and react to it, and they'll react to me, and that'll be that. Aren't we, for a change? We might do. Going, but you never know. Yeah. I don't know. There'll be a bit of trampoline action. I think we brought the trampoline. Um, Celebrity trampoline tonight. Celebrity trampoline. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but other than that, mate, no, honestly, it is that loose. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I'll just say Rod's big grinny face, and go, yeah, that'll do, and we'll, yeah. we'll do something. And, is, and how do you get on with this interviewing lot? I mean, I know you have to do sort of loads and loads of interviews. Do you enjoy doing it? Fun's tonight. Uh, I do kind of quite enjoy doing it. It's, I don't know, we're, we're, um, we're not a full-time commodity. You know, we, we, we are running a Twisted Sister philosophy now of, you know, 10 gigs a year and all festivals. Um, so it's nice. I, you know, it's not like I'm doing this every day and I have to answer the same questions every day. And actually, the ones tonight have been great. Mm. Um, so I do quite quite enjoy it, you know. Makes me feel a bit of a tart for a few hours, and then I go home, and my wife puts me back in check. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back when you're back to normal life, and it's just good fun. It's all good. It's all part of it, really. It's, you know. Yeah. And you you just doing lawnmower death, or do you do, have you got other side projects as well? Side projects called kids and work. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty hardcore projects, them two. Um, no, not me. Paddy has that. Yeah, Paddy's playing side project, uh, Line of Fire. Don't know what you would class as, as really. Just like classic rock meets. Thrash, really. I guess Black Sabbath mixed with Metallica, Pantera, Black Label Society, that sort of sound, downtuned stuff, but nothing too complicated, just nice, heavy stuff that you can add bang along to, really. So. Yeah. I'm going to join one of Rod, Rod's bands. He's got hundreds. Yeah. I, I'm going to join him with Rod. He hasn't asked me yet. I'm quite affronted by it, but I think me and Rod should do something. That'd be ace. I'd do some classic metal if somebody let me. Oh. I'm crap, I can't sing. <laughs> but I, I would love it. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a classic metal boy. I'm no, not really into it. it. I'm not into the bish bash bosh <laughs> stuff, you know. All this playing fast bollocks. So it's, it doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a proper classic metal boy, really. Yeah. Art. And are you going to get a chance to catch any bands yourselves to this, this weekend? Well, um, I'm going home tonight after we've played, so it's, tonight's my option. Um, you're going to be the last interview. Yeah. So I'm going to grab something to eat. I've just bumped into Gregor. From, from Paradise, so uh, definitely going to go and see them. Well, that's it. I'm going to go and see them on the tour properly anyway, so I'm trying to catch them back into there. So I'd like to see a little sniffer of Anthrax, just from memories. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be there for... Because uh, they're, they're on before us anyway. we get to see the Scarecrow Boys, yeah. and we love the Scarecrow Boys. Um, so I'm going to catch a little bit of their set as well. Yeah. Guys are genius, and Daniels, and then 
don't know, to my nice, comfortable bed. Well, they'll get you sort of going nicely for you because they, they don't take themselves so seriously either. So it's I've not noticed they've done that. <laughs> so, uh, and, but they, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, it's this like, really good billing, then followed by us and stuff like that. I totally agree. But yeah, for me, they're, they're about the music. I mean, they don't take themselves seriously and they're a good fun band. But, but those boys can play. Oh, yeah. I mean, no mucking about they can play. We can't play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a big fundamental difference between the, us and them. But they're a great band, so, you know, people should check them out. So what have you got lined up for the future? I mean, are you just going to carry on the way you're going, just plodding along? It's, it's pretty organic, isn't it? It's pretty yeah, loose. We've got, a, we've got a big one in December. Yeah, December's the... A, a Christmas show like what we used to do back in the day. It's the only club uh, show, I think, that we'll do this year. With, we've got the older confirmed so far, so that's going to be fantastic. Down in London at the garage. There's going to be another couple of bands added, I think, but we yeah. don't know who yet, but they're going to be... A or if I get my way, I'm arguing with the agent, but, you know, I want a magician on or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't seem to want to let me do it. Um, but we'll do that yeah. and watch this space, really, because we're, we're having a few chats in the background. I think you'll probably see us again at some point this year. Yeah. In a big muddy field somewhere, I think. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere, sometime, somewhere-ish. And do you, do you see that you're getting new fans as well as the old school it's people? Bizarre, yeah. it's Why? Weird. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we, we, we're getting people bringing the kids now, yes, which weird. is really strange. Um, that, that's really weird. Uh, my kids, my kids came to see me at Bloodstock. That was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> really bizarre, looking across like thousands, and thousands of people, and then seeing my kids in the sound box. That was really cool. So yeah, I mean, we do seem to be picking up people who I don't know. Maybe they've heard about the reputation. Um, probably don't know the music, which probably is a really good thing for them, uh, stuff like that. But, you know, the reputation is pulling them in. And, of course, you know, people who were there are coming out in the droves again now. Yeah. Uh, and, all right, we're all a bit bigger and fatter and older and not very much wiser, apparently. But, I don't know, we've got a double audience. We're playing the biggest crowds we've ever played, really. Yeah. It's the truth, and it's... It's a blast. It's, been it's a real yeah, blast, isn't it? Fantastic, yeah. yeah. So you're just basically going to carry on as long as you're enjoying it, really? I think that's it. As long yeah. as, as, long as you want us, we Steve want to do it. I think the nice thing is there's no... This is what I don't miss. I think when it was, you know, the 15, 20 years ago stuff, it was all that. Whether you thought it was like it or not, there was always that element of trying to prove yourself because you're in with your peer group and there was the whole scene thing going on. Um, so, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, it was great, but there was all that. There was a lot of There was the, the crap that came with it, yeah, wasn't there? Yeah, we're faster than you, we're everything you. There that was whole, all that. That's we didn't not really there. fall out with anybody, did we? But a lot of the no. other bands but they did. fell out, didn't they? But, but now, it just seems to be like, do you want to play this festival for Good Time Kicks? And absolutely we do. Yeah. And we're just coming out and we're loving it. And, and so, you know, we've not got the pressure of recording, we've not got the pressure of touring, we've not got to deal with the labels, which we always hated. Um, it's just go out and play. And, and, I don't know, it seems to be rubbing off on both sides. I, mean, I seem to have been saying this a lot tonight. There seems to be this thing going on. I don't know why it's happened. I don't remember it being like it first time round. But now, I don't know, this will happen for other bands. It never happened for us. But, you know, band here, yeah. audience here, stage, you know, big difference. You know, I don't know. We, we just seem to be... Bloodstock was a classic one. You know, you went down, Bloodstock, and there were 6,000 people in the tent. And it was just us and them. And they were having a good time, so we had a good time. And then they had more fun, so we had more fun. And bang, 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 and off it goes. And it just seems to be this whole big loving thing going on at the moment. And it's just ace. And I think it's the beer's got a lot to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's great. But we found out after Bloodstock that they had to stop people coming in halfway through the set. It's the first time yeah. they've ever had to shut the sofa stage and stop people coming in. Yeah. Do you know what I found tonight? Her mum was in the crowd. Really? Yeah. She loved it. How cool was that? Yeah. So, quite right. And have you got a final message for the guys out there that are watching this? Yeah, hello, why? <laughs> <laughs> not why, why, you, not why you're watching it, why you're listening to us ramble on about nothing. Yeah, just keep turning up, keep having fun, keep being sensible, give each other a kiss. It's all good crack. <laughs> Cheers, mate. You're really welcome. Cheers, mate. May God have mercy on your soul.